Gentle physical activity done regularly can help you keep and improve your strength and balance. The following basic exercises can be done during your normal day. Check with your physician before starting any new exercise to make sure you're medically fit. Physical therapists are a good source for recommendations on a routine that would be best for you along with suggested repetitions. We'll start with sit to stand. Using a chair with armrests, scoot to the edge so there is a space between the back of your knees and the chair. Push off with both hands and slowly stand up. Hold for five seconds. Feel the chair touch the back of your legs so you know you are close enough to the chair before you sit back down. Repeat this exercise five times. Now we move to heel toe standing, another good balance exercise. Hold on to the back of a chair. Place one foot directly in front of the other. It is okay to look at your feet to get them lined up. Then look ahead for good posture. Hold the standing position for 10 seconds. Change the standing position. Take the foot that was behind and place it directly in front of the other foot. Hold this position for 10 seconds. The next exercise is side hip strengthening. Lift the leg slightly to the side until your foot is about one inch off the floor. Hold onto a steady chair or counter and look straight ahead. Keep the right leg straight and the foot straight forward. Lower your leg to the floor slowly. Repeat this five times for the right leg. Now lift the left leg slightly out to the side until your foot is about one inch off the floor. Lower your leg to the floor slowly and repeat this five times for the left leg. Now we move to the front knee strengthening exercise. Sit on a chair with your back well supported and straighten the right leg slowly. Hold for five seconds. Lower the leg slowly. Repeat five times for the right leg. Now work on the other leg. Straighten the left leg slowly. Hold for five seconds and lower the leg slowly. Repeat this exercise five times for the left leg. We continue with seated heel raises. Sitting on a chair, feet flat on the floor, raise the heels from the floor, placing weight on the balls of the feet, and then return them to the floor. Repeat this exercise slow and controlled. If that's too easy, try standing heel raises. Hold onto the back of a steady chair. Come up onto your toes without rocking forward. Slowly lower the heels to the ground and repeat this exercise five times. We'll move to seated toe raises. Start with the feet flat on the floor. You'll begin by raising the toes from the floor and then return them to the starting position. Repeat this exercise slow and controlled. If that is too easy, try standing toe raises. Hold on to the back of your chair. Place your feet shoulder width apart and lift up your toes so you come up onto your heels. Slowly lower the toes to the ground and repeat the exercise five times. Now we transition to the good morning stretch. Begin by reaching both arms up and giving a good stretch. Add a gentle turn to the right and then to the left. Breathe deeply and move slowly and repeat this cycle two to three times. It's a relaxing stretch for the entire body. Next, we'll do head turns. Head turns can be done anywhere and anytime. Start by turning your head slowly all the way to the left. Now turn your head slowly to the right. Repeat this exercise five times. You'll feel a little stretch in your neck and that's okay as long as you don't have any pain. Head turns are helpful in maintaining your ability to look left and right while driving. Now to diagonal reaches. Start with your right arm. Press up toward the ceiling and across your body. Alternate your left and right arm. Repeat five to 10 times. This exercise improves range of motion in the shoulders and back. Now transition to diagonal reaches toward the floor. Reach with your left hand toward the floor and across your body. Alternate your right and left arm. Repeat five to 10 times. Both exercises may help with physical endurance. Moving on to wrist bends. Hang your hands in front of you and let your wrists just hang down. Slowly bend the back of your hand. Lift your fingers up toward the ceiling. Then lower your hand 
and repeat this five times. This exercise may improve dexterity, coordination, and range of motion. We continue with foot circles. Start with both feet on the floor, raise the foot, and gently rotate five times. Rotate just the ankle, change direction and repeat. And when complete, switch to the left ankle. Now to seated knee raises. Lift up the right knee and lower it as if you are marching. Repeat five to ten times. Seated knee raises improve hip stability and range of motion. We move to standing hip extensions. Stand behind a chair or sturdy table. Slide your foot back, sliding heel to toe. Finishing with the leg back and the toe pointed touching the ground. Keep your head up, eyes forward, and body upright. Keep your toe pointed on the floor and repeat five to 10 times with each leg. Now to sidestepping. Hold on to the back of a chair. Step your right foot to the right, then bring your left foot to match your right foot. Left together, right together. Take a good wide step if you're able to and increase the duration as appropriate. We transition to hip circles. With your hands on your hips, make circles with the hips without moving the shoulders. Pretend you're doing a hula dance or using a hula hoop. Reverse your direction for 10 to 15 seconds. Repeat the cycle two times. The heel cord stretch is next. Stand about an arm's length away from the chair. With left foot in front of the right, lean forward keeping the right heel flat on the floor. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds. Repeat with the opposite foot in front and repeat this cycle two times. Remember to check with your physician or physical therapist before beginning any exercise program. These basic exercises, if done regularly, can help to improve your strength and balance. As your strength improves, you can gradually increase the number of exercises you complete. Be proactive and prevent a fall. For more information on fall prevention, go to lifelonglinks.org.